concept of a trial by jury has come a long way from the trial by ordeal of the Middle Ages. In medieval Europe, commoners could find themselves subjected to the test of the cold water. This method of testing guilt or innocence involved binding the accused and tossing them in a deep river or lake. If they floated, the person was considered guilty. If they sank, they were innocent. However, sometimes they drowned before being informed of their innocence. The Sixth Amendment to the Constitution guarantees our right to a trial by jury. For this system to work, we must all be active participants in the process. Jury service allows you to participate directly in the administration of justice. When you are called to be a juror, you become a very important person in our legal system. In the United States, our justice system is based on the belief that a just and fair result in court comes from having disputes settled by a jury of our peers. Jurors are called to service in either Claremont County Common Pleas or Municipal Court. Common Pleas courts have jurisdiction in all criminal felony cases and civil cases in which the amount of controversy exceeds $500. Municipal courts handle misdemeanor, criminal, and traffic offenses, but also have jurisdiction over civil cases in which the amount in controversy does not exceed $15,000. How are you called for jury duty? In Claremont County, jurors are selected at random from the Registrar of Voters. As long as you are 18 years of age, a registered voter, and have not lost your right to vote due to conviction of certain crimes, you may be called to jury duty. When your name is called from the jury pool, you're assigned a number as a potential juror. Most jurors will be selected to serve on a pettit jury, one that is selected to hear and decide a particular case. Pettit jurors are called to serve for one week. However, there are occasions when a trial will last more than a week, and in that case, the seated jurors are required to stay until that trial is finished. Grand jurors must serve for four months, reporting to service one day every other week or two times a month. A grand jury hears evidence about crimes, usually felonies, and decides whether a person should be indicted and tried for committing a crime. The grand jury does not decide guilt or innocence. In most cases, jurors are released at the end of each day. The jurors are to return the next day if need be. In rare cases, a judge may be concerned that the jury could be influenced by outsiders about the case and may sequester or separate the jury from others while that trial is still going on. If selected to serve on a Claremont County Common Pleas jury, you will report to the courthouse located at 270 East Main Street in Batavia. Parking is available on surrounding streets and in nearby lots. Ample parking is available surrounding Claremont County Municipal Court, located at 4430 State Route 222 in Batavia. After entering the front door and passing through security, you will be directed by security staff members to the jury waiting area. The Office of the Jury Commissioner, located in the Common Pleas Court, is available to answer any questions you have after receiving a summons or about the process of jury service. The Jury Commissioner can be reached at 732-7596. I don't know if I'm qualified to decide someone's fate. During jury selection, potential jurors will be asked many questions regarding their ability to decide facts in the pending case. A sampling of what details will be discussed during trial will be given to potential jurors and they will be asked if they have any personal problems or concerns which would make it difficult for them to follow the law as it's given to them and decide the fate of the defendant. If a potential juror has strong feelings of inadequacy in this regard, this is the time to address those concerns with the attorneys and judge. What if they ask me a personal question I don't feel comfortable answering? This occasionally happens. The potential juror may make a request to answer the question outside the hearing of other potential jurors. The questioning process is important because it weeds out jurors who might have a personal bias, prejudice, or life experience which would prevent them from being an impartial juror. 
I'm a stay-at-home mom with two small children, and I can't afford to pay someone else to watch my children while I sit on a jury. The courts do not provide child care. Serving on a jury is a civic duty and requires sacrifice on the part of the jurors. If child care is an undue hardship on a potential juror, that person may request a postponement of service until a more suitable or convenient time. Your workday as a juror will typically run from 8.30 or 9 in the morning until whenever the judge and attorneys deem the trial is at a convenient stopping point for the day, typically not past 4.30 in the afternoon. Many times judges will ask that you report later so that the judge can handle other unrelated cases before the trial begins each day. On certain occasions, there may be a delay in your entering the courtroom for the trial. That may mean the judge and or attorneys in the case are working on proceedings that cannot be discussed in the presence of the jury. What happens if I'm not selected for a particular jury? When a potential juror is dismissed from a particular trial, that juror is requested to report to another courtroom where voir dire is being conducted in another trial. They may be seated on that trial should the need arise. When there are no other trials, the juror is free to leave for the day after being reminded to call the jury recording again that evening to check their assignment for the next day. Is it possible I can be called upon to serve but never sit on a jury? Yes, many potential jurors are called, but few are selected. Attorneys go through a jury selection process known as voir dire to see whether this individual is qualified and suitable to sit on a specific jury. Just because you are dismissed from one court case doesn't mean you are dismissed from jury duty. You are still required to check in with a jury commissioner each day during the length of your jury service. We do get paid for jury service, right? Absolutely, but it's minimal. In Claremont County, both pettit jurors and grand jurors are paid $15 a day. Payments are mailed several weeks after your court appearance. You have other options for jury compensation, including making a tax-deductible contribution to the improvement of the Administration of Justice Fund. This fund provides bottled water, coffee, soft drinks, and snacks for those called to jury service. Is my boss still required to pay me, even though I'm not officially on the job? Employers are not required to pay jurors while they are on jury duty, although some do. Some employers pay their employees, but require a reimbursement of the jury fee to which the juror is entitled. A quick note, you do not have to claim your jury service compensation as income. In a common pleas criminal case, 12 jurors will be chosen. Common plea civil juries require eight jurors. Municipal court juries also consist of eight jurors. Alternates are selected to hear the case but may not enter deliberations with other jury members. If a seated juror cannot fulfill his or her obligation, the alternate steps in.